Right, so I thought I'd um, redo the DMZ video after some uh, after looking back at it and having a bit of um, constructive criticism from different people, and I want to try and keep this as short and sweet as it's humanly possible. So um, let me run through the scenario. So you've got a strict NAT tile on your console. Um, there's several key things that um, you w you need to do to go from there. Now, what should happen on your on your router is there should be a thing kicking in called Universal Plug and Play, and that should automatically forward the ports that you need. Your console should send the settings to your router, and it should automatically forward them. Now, if this isn't working, um, then you, that usually gives you a strict NAT type. Now, there's several th key things you can do here. You can either do manual port forwarding, which is time consuming and sometimes doesn't necessarily work all the time, um, and setting the console that's having problems on a DMZ. Um, port forwarding is going to be the most secure way of doing it, um, but it can be time consuming. You have to do a bit of Googling to find out the ports you need to forward, and if you're a bit un inexperienced, it can be a bit of a pain in the backside. So, the other thing you can do is a thing called DMZ. Now, DMZ stands for Demilitarized Zone, and um, basically, what it, what it is is, a, is an IP address, usually just the one, if it's on a home router, it's just one IP address that bypasses all the firewall settings. So, that allows you to get onto the internet without any firewall whatsoever which is very insecure and not what I recommend doing. Uh, now consoles um, tend to be less susceptible than PCs to, um, to attacks um, when it comes to setting things outside of a firewall but at the same time it's not something I recommend. I always recommend going on the, the port forwarding route and, uh, and unfortunately I have a uphill struggle with um, for lack of a better word noobs who think that DMZ is the other way forward. Now, uh, fair enough DMZ is the easiest way of doing things but they aren't the most secure. Now, Consoles, like I say, are less susceptible to security threats, but they are still susceptible. So I wouldn't use this as your first port of call. But if you're still wanting to do it, um, you need several key things first. So the first thing you need is to find the IP address of the device you're going to put on the DMZ. Now you should be able to find this out reasonably easily. It should be um, in your network settings of your console. So um, it should be under something like system settings, network settings, something of that nature in your PS3 or your Xbox or your Wii or whatever device you're having problems with and it's I mean strict NAT types blah 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 you need to find out the IP address of that um, and then after that you need to find the IP address of your of the router you need to um, have access to and this should be on the underside of your router so it should be something like 192.168.0.1 or something of that nature it should be on the underside of your router and all you need to do is pop that into your address bar of your browser which I'll show you in a minute um, and then you then it will give you the interface and the second bit of information you need is the username and password of the router that you're going to be logging into as well. Now that also should be on the underside of your router. That should be the, it should be give you the default for that. Now if you've changed it or if you've changed any of these, then you need to find out what you've changed these to. Um, if you haven't changed any of them, that's fine. You just whack that stuff in and then you've actually got access to that. Um, and if you've got all of those, uh, we'll head on over and we'll actually do that right now. So once you've got all the information you need, what you need to do is you're going to need to go into your browser. Uh, now for me, I've changed the actual default IP address um, for my router, so what I need to do is I need to enter the default, uh, what, what I've changed it to, it should, yours should be a 192 address, but mine's going to be 10 dot, oh, no, not that one at all, oh, that's completely rubbish, 10.0.0.1, now that is the address for our version home hub, which, we'll, we, which is the example I'm going to use, I know the um, password this is admin, and the password, default password for this should be, um, change me but it's not actually it's uh, something else I've changed it to if I can actually type um, now once you've um, had access to this you need to go into advanced settings you might have to do this on on whatever route you're using so we're using a, a Virgin Media Super Hub um, it should be reasonably straightforward on whatever device you're using um, and once it's decided to load it might take a while because these are really really um, so devices what we need to do is go into um, find a DMZ setting that should be under something like advanced and then DMZ host um, if not you might have to do a bit of searching around to find, try and find it but it should be somewhere like that and then basically all you need to do is input the, the address, the IP address you want to set on the DMZ so for the moment mine is set to 120 now that 120 address is to my untangled server for reasons of well, I'm not going to go into but um, that's currently set as a DMZ so all you need to do is basically pop in the IP address of, of the device you want to put on the DMZ and once that's done you're pretty much um, sorted, cooking on gas as they say so all you need to do is just hit apply, you might have to give your router a restart and um, you might also have to d reboot other devices on the network such as switches and, and access points and stuff like that but once that's done that's all set up, you should have an open laptop, you should be able to access stuff like Call of Duty and all these other bits and pieces that have real problems trying to, um, trying to get on um, 
if you've liked this video, if you like this video, obviously like it, subscribe it, share it, blah blah blah, um, so that so that well, I, a I can get a bit more recognition, and b you can help out the community. So um, yeah, that's it really. Um, I hope this has been some sort of some sort of help, um, and uh, yeah, I'm sure I'll catch you again.